In this video, we're going to spend three days on the French Riviera. We're going to spend a couple of days right here in Antibes, and we're going to wander through the streets of the old town. We're going to try some local food, and we're going to do an absinthe tasting in an old bar in a cave. I can't wait. And on the third day, we're going to rent a car and drive to Saint-Paul-de-Vence, which is a gorgeous medieval artist village. Allez, on y va. We're taking the TGV. Uh, it's going to take us about five and a half hours to yeah. go from Paris to Antibes. And I bought us first class tickets, which cost about 150 euros each. Actually, I bought the first class because the second class was just 125, so and because you're supposed to take first class on your way to the Riviera. Yeah. All right, darling, we made it to Antibes. We're here, we're ready to have some fun. I like going on romantic adventures with you. I do too. After dropping our bags at the hotel, we met our local guide, Clément, for a taste of Mediterranean cuisine, which is totally different from what you find in Paris. This is calamari from the bay right here. They caught it this morning. Mm. It's not too salty, not too lemon. It's like just right. Just to you. To Antibes. To romantic adventures. Romantic adventures. C'est moi la dogue. Oh la. I got new. No. <laughs> She's a food this thief. Is extra. That's good. That's good. This is filet Saint Pierre, which is a very light white fish. Yeah. I don't so know Saint what Peter. it is. Yeah. Saint Peter fish. Saint Peter fish. And I don't know what it is. They say a John Dory, but it's in a cream sauce. Oh, you just spilled on your uh, merci. So is this good? This is excellent. And I got the dope. So it's a beef stew with potato gnocchi. It's good. You're not gonna like it. I mean, it's you so tender. You know what tender. it goes with? It goes with your wine. I'm not gonna say I really liked it, but I really liked it. <laughs> That's been a wonderful day, and I cannot wait to see what tomorrow brings when we discover around Antibes. Yeah. Good morning, my darling. Good morning. How's the view? Oh, I don't know. It's just a little, you know, sailboats and mountains and seagulls and, you know. Look at that now. You have the, the mountain with the snow caps over there. Ooh. That's the Alps, by the way. Yep. This is beautiful. Bonjour, Clément. Bonjour. Comment ça va? Ça va bien, merci. Bonjour, Clément. Bonjour. <laughs> Let's go see Antibes. And so the tour of Antibes begins. And we knew that Antibes had a great reputation as being a phenomenal city, but we had no idea it would be this breathtaking. You know what's really cool here? What? Is the combination of like, like the boats, uh, the yachts are you yeah. know big and bright and new and shiny. Yeah. And then we have old stone and we have newer construction and it's like a really good blend of many centuries right here. So it was a settlement for, of the Greeks uh, back okay. in the days. Yeah. And uh, after that, because there was already people living there, uh, they were always uh, at war with the Greeks. Yeah. And uh, the city asked uh, Romans for help because the Romans helped help them so much uh, fighting with those tri tribes. Yeah. Uh, the city became Roman after that. <laughs> of course. Yeah. Because like it, a lot of friends. <laughs> yeah. If you want to look through here. <gasps> cool. This is a beach. The sandy beach. This place is so cool. <gasps> look, 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 look. It's called the Nomad. Look at that. I've been wanting to see this for a while. Oh, and the view. Oh, I love this. This is uh, one of the older uh, covered yeah. markets, yeah? Yeah. Locals still come here. Oui? To go shopping. So. This is definitely a Mediterranean spot. Like I know we're in France, but this is very Mediterranean, Italian, Greek, everything. They have all the dried flowers and fruits and spices. Ooh, the fresh octopus and like a little, is that a ray? Look at his face. Look at his little face. Yeah, he looks sad. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh yeah, that is a breathtaking view. Like the sailboat, the blue uh, sea, the cliff, the sun in your face. We could spend time here. Uh, you know, I could, you know, forget to go home. Not, you know, not stay forever, just forget to go home. <laughs> oh man. And like, I feel like how much cooler it is. Immediately yeah. it just like we, uh, the temperature dropped and it's nice and comfortable right here. I would never have known this without Clement. This is just a little residential street people don't know about. Yeah. And I'm smelling people cooking lunch and... We should knock on their door and say, it's Le Frenchies, table for two. <laughs> Thank you for bringing us here. We didn't realize we were coming in time of carnival because Easter is early this year. So the whole season has already begun with Mardi Gras and in Nice, it's all carnival time. So we just had a special treat of these people coming through celebrating the carnival. Now it's time to go have a little absinthe tasting. You mean apero? Yeah, we're having aperos. It's a little before lunch, but we're gonna go drink something amazing in a cave. <laughs> We're here in the cave, but back in the Roman days, this was street level. And that was the well of the Romans right over here. And this is where we're gonna try the absinthe and see if I can make it back up the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> absinthe is always an anise drink, uh, typically from France at the beginning of the last century. Yeah. And uh, a lot of artists like Van Gogh, Baudelaire, Valen, Toulouse Lautrec, oui. Hemingway oui. drink absinthe, uh, but they drink a huge quantity of absinthe because there is no taxes on the alcohol. So a glass of, of absinthe was five times less expensive than a glass of wine. <laughs> and that's why they drink a lot, a lot of absinthe. So there is a special way to drink the absinthe. We always have fontaine, fontaine that you put on the table. We okay. put some ice inside. We always put two centiliters of absinthe in a measure glass, like this one. Okay. You see, you've got a measure glass on the bottom, a little spoon, one piece of sugar, and we take the time to serve slowly water through the sugar and the absinthe to have the ritual of the absinthe. And after you sip it, you take the time to drink it. So after the first glass of absinthe, we end up wearing hats. That's yeah. just how it works. Bienvenue en France. Papier, s'il vous plaît. It's delightful. It's actually very light. When you say it's very light, I love it. Here, you've got the same straight. Oh, okay. Oh, so, okay. so it's going to be a long just afternoon. Just sip it a little. Just sip it a Take it your time to see what 76% of alcohol can be. So this is this is why they put sugar look, in water. Look, madame. Look, look at the eye of Monsieur. Remember the first time that he saw you. You got the same eyes. <laughs> I love you, darling. Slowly, yeah, because it's very strong at the beginning, but the aftertaste is absolutely amazing. Yeah. I like it. No, it, it's. That's a problem, though. I know it could definitely be. A problem. No, because I don't. Uh, I don't do a, a lot of strong alcohol. Yeah. Because it burns. Yeah. This doesn't burn. Can you taste the, the light one. Oh, it's a different one. Yeah. Yeah. It's you've three got different. all different ones. Oh, okay, uh, four, on the four table, different? you've got four different ones. Wow. The light one is more sweet. Oh man! I mean. Do you if mind? you don't tell someone there's alcohol in there, you just drink that. That's, Absolutely. that's a refreshing drink. It's very refreshing. Two being pompette before lunch. I should put my hand like this. This is the one who is open. Okay. That's more like it. Where are we going? <laughs> We're going to go wander through some of the streets in the old town. Yeah. And we should probably find food after drinking this morning. Whew. Oh, I know where we're going now. We're going to that restaurant. Bonjour. So it's a restaurant 
nananer, right? which means nanny nanny boo boo in French. That's what He's it serious. is. He's serious. That's serious, nananer. That's what a kid says. And it looks like they have nice sandwiches and pasta and main courses. Okay. It's delightful. That's of mayonnaise, which is kind of like just, you could say a deviled egg. And we've seen those in previous videos, but this one has herring caviar on it. Look, 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 look. Uh, you can see like how yummy that's going to be. I thought she was going to feed me. The texture of the white and the texture of the yellow, the, the, the yolk is just a little bit gooey. That's a good egg mayonnaise. Oh yeah. Oh, and the mayonnaise in France is... Fresh homemade mayonnaise. Yeah, that's very good. This is like a pork belly, pork uh, rib belly. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to put just a little bit of the sauce here. That is the funniest thing with the it popcorn. Has, it has corn, it has chopped veggies, and I think I just need to put a little piece of popcorn on top. Let me get that. Just because clearly the popcorn is supposed to be there. Every piece of flavor in here, it's like a symphony. Like it yeah. would definitely not be the same if something was missing. I got the duck confit. So it's got a little bit of herbs there. And let me take a, uh, oh man, look at this, Charlie. Look at this. Look at this apart. meat falling apart here. A little, oh man, this looks fabulous. A little baked potato there. No potato for you. No. Okay, wait a minute. I have no idea what this is, but it looks really good. It was the something, something, something. <laughs> Oh, good stuff, huh? It's a nutty caramel profiterole with no chocolate. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Amazing. Which is exactly what I meant. And something, something, something. By the way, if you're looking for day trips from Paris, we have several guides to amazing location where you have info on where to stay, where to eat, and where to have fun. There's a link in the description below. Check it out and see if it's a good fit for you. Antibes is amazing. And I'm not quite ready to leave, but it's time to go. We'll definitely be back, right? For sure. <laughs> it's time to go and pick up a rental car and we're gonna drive over to St. Paul de Vence for more adventures. Hey. We left the beach and now we're in the mountains with drop dead gorgeous views. Check that out. Yeah, wow. This game here, it's called Pétanque. We've seen it several times, but this is actually from here, from the south. You know, for us, the southerners, Marseillais, they drink pastis and they play pétanque. And they take it really serious. And they take it very seriously. It's very cool, and I've never seen this special little string that they have with the magnet on the yeah. bottom, <laughs> so they don't have to bend. That's brilliant. Yeah. They made a little sculpture of those uh, pétanque. Yeah, so that's the, that's the cochonnet. And those are the ball, and this is how you can tell your ball, the difference between yours. So this one has two, three stripes, this one has three stripes differently, so you have different kinds of balls that look different so you know which one is yours, and you have some that are have absolutely nothing on them. What's crazy is the terrain is completely different, and we're like less than 30 minutes drive, but the whole vibe, the whole scenery, the whole ecosystem is totally different. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Check out the cannon. This is a real fort. Yeah. <laughs> oh, darling. Yeah. Oh, darling. <laughs> See how far you can go. I'm, I'm like, if I'm like, you know, I mean, if I slump a little bit, I'm, I'm there. But if I just put my arms, like that's, I'm the width of the street. <laughs> it's the street you go like this. This is 
This is a washing machine. It's the old-fashioned laundromat. Exactly. Yeah, the water. Uh, so there's a there's a slant, right? And then uh, they just put the water and everything, and then evacuates right there. And they rub them on the sides, and yeah. then they drain them. And right, exactly. He used the stone to uh, wash the clothes, and they're polished as uh, as could be because, well, they're well worn, and yeah. well used. That's a pair. A pair of what? That's a pair of ass. <laughs> Everything about this town is absolutely charming. I love it. Yeah, how's the view? <laughs> so we are walking along the outer ramparts of this walled medieval village yeah. on our way to lunch, and we're just soaking in all the beauty. <laughs> this is the lifestyles of the rich and famous. Now let's discover some more local specialties. Since it's pizza, can I eat it with my <laughs> Yes. Can I eat it with my fingers? Yes, and you can. They give you a fork and a knife, but that's a suggestion at nice. best. If I was really French, I would do it that way. But I'm American French. Yeah. Mmm. It's a nice sweet onion with the tang of some olive, with the olive, like really good quality olive oil. Yeah. The bread is soft on the top and crispy crunchy on the bottom. Like, I don't know if you hear that crispy crunch, but here. Yeah, I think I hear it. Mm. <laughs> well, what's going on right now is my mouth is watering. Mmm. <laughs> yeah. I got the anchovy too. <laughs> I gotta be delicate. I'm in Saint Paul de Vence. This is really good. I'm actually I'm a, I have a serious envy for a glass of um, rose. Just because we drank enough yesterday doesn't mean we can't have another one. Oh God, I'm gonna have a glass of rose. I mean, more, only me, right? You're not having any, right? Let's just be clear. Thank you for ordering a glass of wine. Non, non, pas de problème. Cool. Okay. Mm. Let's see if that's just falling apart. You see? Well, I'm gonna have to try that. That looks like tender. Sounded like a donkey. It is a donkey. Do you know why the donkey is a uh, donkey? <laughs> that good stuff? Mm-hmm. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. It's great. And I got the steak. It's a beautiful steak. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> take my wine, take my steak. All right, there you go. Just like that. It's good stuff. No, oh, here. Mm. Cheers to you. Oh, I got a bigger glass. Was that the same? No, you drank half my glass here. Cheers to Provence. So how was it, my darling? That was just plain yummy. Well, let's go into town and get out of the sun because I'm a little fried and yeah. so are you. It's, it's amazing how brilliant and how warm it is, you know, how brilliant the sun is and how warm it is here yeah. in February. Yeah. I can only imagine the summer months. Just over this wall, you can see the cemetery for the town. And that is where Marc Chagall is buried. Right there? Oh yeah, right there. That's where Chagall is buried. Well, let's go and let's go and uh, pay our respect to Chagall. Let's do it. And he's right here, Mark Chagall. You see? Yeah. I always thought of him alive so much longer ago, but I was still in university when he passed. And like people apparently leave uh, little rocks with little signature and little messages. Thoughts. Rest in peace, love, Chagall. It's pretty cool. Yeah, that's a amazing resting place. If you like this video on Antibes, next I would watch one of our day trip videos like this one on Normandy.